Hi. Hello. It's Paul. Tim. Doing a thing. My thing this time. The reason I picked this is uh, Cliff and I. Hi, Cliff. From Capes and Scales. We're working on this new metal thing, this list. Oh, no. It's really all over the place. New metal as a classification is a nightmare. Uh, if you guys want to join us, and I think it's Loudwired who did this top 50 albums of new metal. It's, it's an experience. It should um, just be discredited for what's at number 50. <laughs> And the fact that Limp Bizkit is in it entirely too often. <laughs> yes, but we're, that's neither here nor there. Um, I chose this because this band is on there, and I think they're pretty decent. I had this album. You don't know their you you would know their their big hit, which was a cover. But this one you don't seem to know. We're gonna do this one. It's Orgy's Stitches. Um, I think really the only real shame of Orgy is their name is Orgy, so they're probably. <laughs> not blown up as big as they would have been it's tough man name like that is good and bad yeah but uh we're gonna do that so i got reminded of it because of this list i said hey i don't know if anybody reacts to orgy but they were good it's kind of tough to get a lot of people in on orgy yeah you think so Anyways, I don't think I, I don't think look, it's as tough as you think. Look, my brain my my brain was just like, say the joke. I know it's bad, but say the joke. And then when we got out there, it was just like, brain was like, that was worse than you expected it to, wasn't it? it it's was. not your worst. It's not your worst. It's not my worst. It's, it's not far it's not from my worst. best, though. Yes. <laughs> Let's there's, go. There's a best. I think that there's a best. I know you do. <laughs> I think there is definitely jokes that I have done that you have not cringed at or you laughed at. Have any of them been captured so future generations I, can see them? I bet they have. I bet they haven't. Anyways, um, we're going to do this one. Uh, this is new metal with like an industrial kind of okay. lean, which I love industrial. Okay. So this definitely appeals to me. Right. You ready? Yes. Museum of the late 20th century technology art form. Deconstructionist music video for forensic dissection. Please do not touch the exhibits. <laughs> Andy Diff. They look very 1999. Yes. Yeah. Built like new age versions of the It's Gonna Be Me videos. So it's an interesting sound. Yeah. Um, it does feel very much within that time period. I'm assuming For this sure. is like pre-2010. Oh, this is like 99. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, this is... I think this is 98, 99. Yeah. Example. So, this is very much in that um, that realm of, of like music I'm very familiar with, and it all kinds of bleeds together and, and sounds the same. Not that this sounds the same, but it, it has a very distinct sound. It's of that time. That goes with that time. Sure. Um, it's not bad. And it's just like I said, like when I see the guys like standing there and like squared up, I'm like, my, my brain is like, it's got to be me. <laughs> it's that good video. Um, their, their drip is insane in this. Yes. Look at that 90s. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. They look like if NSYNC was like new age, new age and cybernetic a little bit. Cyber, cyberpunk yes. NSYNC. Cyberpunk NSYNC. Yes. That's, Maybe that's something we do need. I don't know if it is. Let's. We gotta, we gotta tell them. They don't know that that's what we they need. They don't know. We gotta let them know. Okay. No. Uh, but yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's just it, like it. It's like it, anytime you we get a video like this and you get a sound like that, my brain doesn't switch off. It just starts running in that direction of like I need to know what this sounds like. So like it's not that it's bad. It's just like my You're brain trying is trying to call it corn. <laughs> Like I'm not trying. I'm not not, not trying to call it corn, but like there's definitely joke. feels there's definitely sounds in there that like you could attribute to it, but it it's it's more borrowed from. The, they're an interesting band. They're kind of uh, inspired by. 
they're industrial, but they're they're not, and at times they're not, and it's like they're they got the really good clean vocals, mm -hmm. super clean. There's very rarely a lot of screams and whatnot in their music, um, and industrial leans into like new wave '80s stuff mm -hmm. all the time. Yes, which I love, and dance stuff like it goes all over. And these guys are a very good example of what was going on at that time. Mm -hmm. They're probably one of the more successful versions of it. Let's give you more. No balance. I have really bad balance. There's no way I'd be able to stay stationary there. <laughs> I'd be falling over all the place. I like how they're deconstructing what yeah. it is. Like, this feels like... It feels like a commentary. Yes, commentary on the very sterile uh, pop algorithm. I mean, they're not the only ones, but yeah, pop is good to that. There you go. Got a little industrial in there for you. I mean, the only real other industrial we did on here was uh, Fear Factory, which is a very different mm -hmm. end of industrial. I don't think we've tackled it too much beyond that. No. So I figured this was the nice way to do it. And it was it fresh in my it mind because yeah. of uh, Cliff. Yeah, it was pretty good. It wasn't bad. Um, like I said, I liked the video. The video was interesting, except the, the little cube thing, like... Yeah. Just like I would die in that. Just fall over <laughs> once and eternally fall over. Yes, I would just yeah. be continually be falling over until at some point, like, I snap my neck. Like, it's what would happen. He died as he lived, <laughs> falling over inside of Weird Cube. <laughs> but yeah, it was kind of neat. I, I liked it. I did like the how they approached the video. It's um, good. It's a good video. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's really not a lot I can say about it. Like I said, it, it, it's good. It, there's definitely sounds that like remind me of other stuff, but like that's kind of how you everything like the, was in the air in, in that in that era. You like the guitar and the yeah, the guitar was the really guitar. nice. I like that a lot. Um, there's a lot of things they could have done to that guitar. I don't want to just say it was this. Yeah, I'm not sure. There's probably a million pedals and other effects that went True. into that. But yeah, um, really, but yeah, that was neat. Like uh, the, the the only problem with stuff like this is unfortunately like there's a very short list of what you can go through because likely you're going to run into something that i do know um or there's just or dance just around it or they just weren't around long enough to to, to develop a, a big list of uh of songs to to kind of go through right um but yeah i mean the era itself is interesting like i like you guys have been talking about that list a lot and some of it is yeah. really really good and yeah. then some of it is really not well cliff didn't know the band orgy Oh, okay. Before he actually sat down and listened to it. And he's like, I don't think I'm looking forward to Orgy. I go, oh, you're not familiar with them? He goes, no. And I said, oh, you don't have to. Trust me, out of everything on this list, you don't have to worry about Orgy. They're fine. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was right. Because I've gotten farther. Than, oh, my God, that list. <laughs> oh, my God. You don't, you don't like Crazy Town? 
Yeah, Crazy Town's dude, on that list. Dude, Butterfly is easily the best song on that album. They were correct to make that their single. No <laughs> doubt. No doubt. That was the best. <laughs> 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 I love how you're just like <sighs> Now that now to be fair, let me know if there's a good crazy town song, because I know they still make music. If there's something you're like, no no no, you got you don't understand. They got better. They got better. I don't like them. I saw them <laughs> with that album that had butterfly. They were at a show. I sat through it to see whatever other what other band it was. It happened. I still remember it vividly. It wasn't great. So if that got better, let me know. So like Rebecca Black. So like if that was their Friday song and then suddenly sure. 10 years later. Because I don't think Butterfly is a bad song it's in the not. grand scheme of things. But that album, oof. They're just trying to do a lot. They're like, thanks. I came to Orgy to hear about Crazy Town. They're doing so <laughs> many things that other bands kind of did better. Mm -hmm. So this, this did very well. I liked it a lot. Yeah, it's good stuff. So. Uh, let us know where you want us to go. Give me some industrial, maybe, that you think Paul won't know. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of heavy hitters of Probably, industrial yes. that I haven't hit yet. Um, I'm just kind of debating which one to start with. Yeah, around that time, I think I was really heavily into country and pop. So, like, oh, yeah. um, I was leaving the rap scene. Ish. Ish. Like, I, my musical tastes were all over the place. They still are, bud. They still, yes, they still very much are. Like, I listen to a lot of just terrible music no, i'm not gonna just say like terrible the music there's really. just i listen to a lot of it and 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 this react channel has not helped that in any way <laughs> no <laughs> it is it is no, broadened we, we, yes for sure um what it has it hasn't narrowed down anything i've learned of k-pop yeah somebody said twice and i knew <laughs> I was like, I know what that is. You watch the MTV Music Awards, you're like, I know some of these I know of who these all these people, people are. <laughs> and pissed your wife off. She's like, who the hell's this idiot? I go, oh, that's this guy. That's Jack Harlow. <laughs> that's Jack Harlow, and that's this. And she's like, how the hell do you know? I'm sorry. <laughs> it was Paul. But anyway, like, subscribe, all that kind of fun stuff. Catch him out on Capes and Scales. Yep. Check me out on Twitch and on Cape, Campfire Ashes. Oh. Um uh, the Cape, original Cape Fire Ashes is our crossover Camp Fire our Ashes. Podcast. Uh, links to the original uh, music video are in the descriptions down below, as well as our merch links and our Patreon uh, for a lot of new stuff that you might find. Uh, little extra bonus videos and uh, a lot of videos. You'll definitely find them there. They're of, there. A lot of videos got blocked. It happens. Um, it's part of the game. So yeah, we'll catch you next time. Yep. Bye, everybody. <laughs>